Welcome to Bright Learning. In this video, you will learn about advantage of SI units and prefix. Before start discussion on prefix, let's understand its meaning. Prefix is made up of two words. Pre means before and fix means to settle. Prefix is a word, letter or number that is placed before an other such as milli, centi and kilo. These are known as prefixes. Prefixes are based on multiplying and dividing the units by power of 10. And the main advantage of SI units is that its multiples and submultiples can be easily expressed by using prefixes. That will be explained in convergence. Let's have some examples. When we say milli, that prefix means thousandth part. It can be thousandth part of any other unit of mass and length or volume such as millimeter, milliliter or milligram. So one millimeter is thousandth part of a meter or one meter equals to thousand millimeter. So if you are having a scale of one meter length then the distance between the two calibrations will be one mm. Centi is another prefix that means hundredth part. So if we talk about one centimeter, that is the hundredth part of a meter. Or we can say one meter equals to hundred centimeter. Kilo is the bigger unit, that is thousand times of any other unit of length and mass. For example, one kilometer is thousand times of a meter. That is, one kilometer equals to thousand meter. In order to understand the use of prefix, we have to do some convergence. So the first conver conversion is five meter will be converted into millimeter. In this case, we don't know that five meter equals to how many millimeter. As we know that one meter equals to 1000 millimeter. So by putting the value of 1 meter into equation A, we get the expression 5 meter equals to 5 into 1000 millimeter. Instead of meter, we have put the value of meter and now the expression is 5 into 1000 millimeter. That is equivalent to 5000 millimeter. And we can convert this 5000 millimeter into scientific notation or exponential form. We have to locate that where is the non zero digit. So 5 is the non zero digit. And rest of the zeros we will count and we will write in the power of 10. So here we are having three zeros. That will be written 5 into 10 raised to power 3 millimeter. So 5 meter equals to 5 into 10 raised to power 3 millimeter. Another conversion, we have to convert 50 meter into centimeter. In this case, we don't know that 50 meter will be equal to how many centimeters. But we have discussed that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter as centimeter is the hundredth part of a meter. So by putting the value of one meter into equation B, we get the expression 50 meter equals to 50 into 100 centimeter. Instead of meter, we have written its value that is 100 centimeter. 50 when multiplied with 100, it becomes 5000 centimeter. And we can get the exponential expression by counting the zeros and we have to write these zeros in 10 power. So it will be 50 meter equals to 5 into 10 raised to power 3 centimeter. Another conversion is 20,000 gram will be converted into kg. Again, we don't know that 20,000 gram equals to how many kg. But we have discussed that Kilo is a thousand times more than the other unit of the mass or length. 
So one gram equals to one over thousand kg, or we can say one gram is a thousandth part of kilogram. By putting the value of one gram into equation C, twenty thousand gram equals to twenty thousand, and instead of gram, we have put the value one over thousand kg. In the next step, we will divide twenty thousand with thousand, and zeros will be cancelled with the zeros of thousand. Then we get the expression twenty kg. It means that twenty thousand gram equals to twenty kg. It's all about the lecture. Thanks for learning.